the Lord provided a great fish to swallow Jonah. And Jonah was inside the fish for three days and three nights. Just recently, the Hope Hall Kids Church shared about this story of the prophet Jonah. And this was the start of Jonah's lockdown. But it wasn't long until the lockdown came to an end. Spiro thought for the fish. He's swimming along there one day and he's thinking, you know, I'm feeling a bit out of sorts. It must be something that I ate. And at the end of chapter two, <laughs> one of my favourite Bible verses, it says that the Lord commanded the fish and it vomited Jonah out onto dry land. Wow, that is some exit from lockdown. Very, very messy. Now recently, when I did an item on the online church, my wife told me off because I had not combed my hair. To which my reply is, well, at least I'm not sitting here covered in fish vomit. So, things that we learn from the story of Jonah about the lockdown. In the first place, God knew what he was doing. God had a plan through it all. At the start, he commanded the fish to swallow Jonah. And at the end, <laughs> he commanded it to vomit him out. Secondly, exit from that lockdown was actually quite messy. Sitting there on the beach, I don't know how Jonah felt as he sat there covered in fish vomit. It's going to be messy. Now, as the lockdown is eased, quite naturally, we long to meet with our beloved family members, our lovely friends and our lovely church members. That's only natural. And indeed, in the Bible, we are strongly encouraged to meet with one another. And it's great that we will be able to do that, but we need to do that in a way that is wise and appropriate. Certainly, it is incumbent upon all Christians to live respectfully uh, with regard to the ruling authorities. I can refer you to Romans chapter 13 on that. So we will need to follow government guidelines at all times. But it's, it's not going to be that easy because some people will regard it differently. Some people are naturally more cautious than others. You may think about this person, oh, he's being overly cautious. You might think about another person, or oh, that person is not being cautious enough. So we need to be patient towards each other and understanding of each other. And there's a great scripture about this in Ephesians chapter 4, where uh, the Bible commands us to... Be respectful to one another. I'll just read that verse to you now. Verse 3 of Ephesians 4. It says, be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Coming out of the lockdown is going to be messy. It's not going to be easy. We need to be patient with one another. We need to be kind and loving to one another. And understanding of maybe different personalities and different approaches. If we do this, if we put on love through these times uh, that are ahead that are going to be quite challenging and quite interesting, then we can get through all this together and we can be strengthened through it.